title of the show is volatile. Technically, that refers to the scent that you immediately experience when perfume meets the air. It's the first thing that evaporates. In the show, we have three works. David Moltz's uh, narrative about a young boy who comes of age is told entirely through fragrance. Eduardo Katz's book, Aroma Poetry, is the first poetry book that has been written entirely in scent. And finally, Brian Gilson Leiter. He and Anna uh, Van Suchtelen uh, collaborated on a text and a scent. And their work moves in the opposite direction of David's. In other words, it degrades over time. This is The Beast of the Sacred Horn. It's a story that I made in um, 12 parts. 12 different fragrances that tell a linear story. We have a whole perfume line, and I do this anyway. The way I work is to make accords of realistic objects and blend them into something so it tells a story within the bottle. The idea to do it like this came because I realized, you know, when you spray a perfume on, there are top notes and middle notes and bass notes, but it goes quite fast, and sometimes you just have the impression of, like, the scent as a total. The idea is that you can slow it down and you can smell each portion of the accord that would go into something final. It's interesting when you go in to smell something because since we lack the vocabulary to express different kinds of smells, uh, you want to smell it and be done. But if you take your time with each of the smells and really meditate on what the title of the poem is, it's a difficult concoction because you're trying to construct this meaning around two or three words. I've had the, the, the insert now at home for about two weeks, and I have been reading the poem, I don't know, every couple of days and, and, and snipping it. And I do think that it accentuates it. I, I think there is something to be said for this added sensory experience. But then the story also made a lot of sense, like the boy who turns into a monster. I was like, okay, let's see how this is gonna go. And it almost felt like a dramatic movie. I, I have to say that when I was smelling them, I couldn't help but be like, can I wear this? Can I wear this? What about this? Could I wear this? Like, because I'm someone that's into that. But it was interesting in the panel to hear him talk about how those products are so um, tightly taken down by governmental policies that you can't have certain things. So when you go through and you smell all those and know that you can't wear them anymore, they take on sort of a, a new vibe and just the preciousness of the smells. And it smells like it makes sense. Like it carries you the right way to make sense of it all. This is exciting to smell this poem step by step. It's interesting. Uh, I don't think my sense of smell is all that good uh, compared to a lot of people, uh, compared to my wife. Um, I don't smell things that she smells and it's interesting. I think you can just have nostalgia and you can remember things and, and, in ways that I guess a photograph does or, or this or that, but it does it in a very different way. When I read the poem I also think about other things that happened to me that remind me of moments in time and I think about what I would expect the poem to smell like. So I like it for its subtlety, I guess. Whether intentional or not, you have to work a little bit hard to actually smell what's here. And I think to know my name and know my soul and my spirit or whatever, I have to work pretty hard to do that. The whole show is really an interrogation of how language and scent interact and how poetry and scent interact. And from a historical perspective, poets have been referencing scent for hundreds of years. Sometimes to uh, evoke that experience of an ephemeral emotion that is like a scent, intense but then gone. I mean, with, with my line and with the sense that we make, the, the description of the action of the story of what's happening has to be so concise, it's very poetic. And then it just shows the, how perfume is storytelling, you know? Like, just like any other art form, you can paint, paint pictures and, and whole worlds in scent, you know? Closing your eyes and taking you to another place.